Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. According to Real Clear Polling, today we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. So people are still saying that we're making uh, the statistics up and the states up and the electoral voting up. Here's the website that we're using. We show the websites every three or four videos. How is this a lie? RealClearPolling.com, as my beautiful wife said, it has Trump at 48.4% and Harris at 48.3% as of October 7th, 2024 at 11.40 a.m. Here is the results according to RealClearPolling.com. This is what we're basing our maps on. On the national Trump versus Harris, Harris is at 48.9% while Trump is at 46.8%. These numbers are according to the polls that they've conducted in several states. Let's get to the maps. Okay, here we go. Washington with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with eight electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with four electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Red, Alaska with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada with six electoral votes. According to Real Clear Polling, Nevada, Harris is at a 1.1 lead, making it blue for Kamala Harris. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, with 11 electoral votes, Trump has a 1.4 lead, according to RealClearPolling.com, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with 5 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the state, is red for Donald J. Trump. The 1st District of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The littlest district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. Nebraska at large, the two at the very top right, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris and Tim. Iowa, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Wisconsin, another battleground toss-up state. According to RealClearPolling.com, Harris has a 0.8 lead in Wisconsin, nabbing her those sacred 10 electoral votes. Michigan, according to RealClearPolling.com, Harris has a 0.7 lead there as well, making Michigan blue for Kamala Harris. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is light red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is a light pink 
for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, according to RealClearPolling.com, Georgia, Trump has a 1.5 lead over Harris, grabbing those 16 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina with 16 electoral votes, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 0.6 lead over Harris there, grabbing him those 16 electoral votes, making North Carolina red for Donald J. Trump. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is light blue, two clicks for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, they are both still somehow tied, 48.2%, 48.2%. It makes me think this is all staged and planned. That's my opinion. For it to be in a deadlock tie for three weeks now in Pennsylvania. Therefore, the 19 electoral votes of Pennsylvania will not be colored in. New York is blue for Kamala Harris, giving her those 28 electoral votes. Maine is red. Maine is red for Donald J. Trump. The district of Maine is blue, the bottom right of it. Little district is blue for Kamala Harris. Now we have New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and the like are all blue for Kamala Harris. This puts Donald J. Trump at 262 electoral votes, Kamala Harris at 255. Quite frankly, because we can't figure out where to put Pennsylvania. But that puts Trump in the lead still as of right now. But if we color in Pennsylvania blue, that would give Kamala Harris 274 electoral votes, making her the winner if Pennsylvania turns blue. But if we turn Pennsylvania red, that gives Donald J. Trump 281 electoral votes, grabbing him the presidency once more. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. And as always, I'm Bags. And I'm President Ross. And we are out. Woo!